So we yeah. went to North Shore for 18 years. <laughs> and um, every time that they um, did a church plant, we, uh, we would discuss it and the answer would always come back no. This time, imprint came up and uh, we discussed it. I assumed it would be no. And uh, Marcy, I believe, was the first one that had the, um, the thought that, well, maybe we should look at it a little bit more. I'm feeling that maybe this is the one that we should uh, jump on. <laughs> then I got a email from Darren Larson asking me if I would uh, mind meeting him for coffee during our conversation. Uh, I could totally feel my heart changing that uh, maybe we were supposed to come to Imprint. So we discussed it further and as a family we came to our decision that you know, Imprint was where we're, we were being led to. My first impressions were good. It, it was a strange experience because the church hadn't actually started yet. And so I remember there's some, some picnics that were going on and so it was more a chance to, to meet people before there was ever a service. So it was something I hadn't really experienced before. It was really, it was really getting to know the community before judging a church by the service. It seems so different from where my walk had been before. I've always gone to church and, and probably over the last decade I've really gravitated towards larger churches and, and I had this formula in my head of you know if you get 2,000 people and there's softball teams and flag football and there's a lot of activities that you could do that that was kind of what made a good church and the music was right but I found myself we moved back here about three years ago and I, I found myself for about two years really church shopping and, and visiting a lot of local churches and not finding what I thought was this perfect formula. And so really with Imprint, it was so different. I'd never been part of a church plant that I felt maybe this is God, where God was calling me to go. Um, it was just something new. It took me out of my comfort zone, and I decided to go for it and give it a try. We mentioned to our family that we didn't really know who was going to marry us. We both weren't going to the same church. We didn't really have a set church that we were going to. We are like, well, we need somebody to marry us. And Darren's name came up. And we met up with him, and he said he'd be honored to marry us. Then he mentioned he was starting a church yes. like a month after we got married. So that's and we're like, well, we're searching for a church too. <laughs> we came here. I mean, the greeters at the door, everybody's so welcoming. They touch your hand. They give you a handshake. It felt like a community, how I feel like churches should be. I'm sitting in Starbucks with my friend Norma and she tells me about a new church while we're doing our daily crossword puzzle that one of the other people that I work with, Forrest, also told me a little bit about it. So we decided we'd come and, and check out the new church. Uh, the check ride was quite interesting. I had been here before because I'm in the school bus business, so we've used this facility. So I've been up here before, but not, not to church. But I'm glad that we, we gave it a try. My first impressions were welcoming people and just really liked the way Pastor Darren delivered his message. I think right now God is teaching me to, to trust him and to stop thinking so much. And it's, it's probably one of the biggest challenges in, in my faith is I like to solve problems. So for example, I'm involved in the marketing for the church and you know, at work to me that would mean just let's try and get a thousand people in here as soon as possible. And yet Darren has been very clear with his vision of we want to keep it as a small to medium sized church and I have a lot of respect for that. So sometimes for me, I just need to just stop, stop thinking about things, stop problem solving, and just trust God in his direction for imprint. I enjoy uh, being out in the parking lot and uh, saying hi to people when they come in and, and waving to them and just kind of the camaraderie of the parking guys. I enjoy to the, just knowing the kids in my class, like being able to, um, the consistency that, that I get to um, be with them week after week and getting to know them and their personalities, knowing their families too. I just feel like I've grown so much more in my faith since coming here. Um, we've been through some tough times in the last few years and, you know, kind of floundering around without having that church um, home to, to help us through some of those things um, was, was difficult. And so I think uh, since coming here that we found that we've really grown. Oh, bring 
God back into our life. Definitely. So. I definitely say that we've grown together. We didn't really have um, a church to go to when we were dating. We didn't go to church. And I knew, I'm like, if we get married, I, we have to find a place that we both want to go and grow spiritually. And we were missing that in our marriage. And when we came here, we spiritually, it was what was missing. And, and I'd been struggling with churches, especially with the way I grew up and with just things that happened there and had a lot of falling out. So it was, it was kind of, it was, it was just tough kind of to get back in. And a lot of, a lot of them went to it just seemed like so much was focused on like, religion or the, the kind of things political that stuff have. yeah it was just things that I was kind of burnt out on from being part of another church and this is just kind of it's refreshing it's a different complete atmosphere than, than what we can be to. ourselves here um, I'm I'm praying that they can continue to uh, bring the message about God and Jesus to people and um, I'm praying about uh, two services now that we're, we're going from one to two. We, uh, we like the closeness of it, so we're, we're praying that that remains uh, a strong part. For it to continue to grow and touch more and more lives um, the way that we've been touched by coming here. Right now I'm praying about a youth group for, um, we, our oldest is 13, and uh, on my heart is just a, a youth group for, and what that looks like um, might be different than at other places, but that's okay. I think this year and a half of praying about imprint and if we should go um, has taught me that sometimes that that God's going to work it out, but it might not be in the the manner that I think or that's been done before. So just praying for the right um, youth group for imprint. My, my prayer for Imprint is, is I think it's a very authentic place to come to church. And so I, I would pray that it always keeps its simplicity. I think Darren really drives that well, that every week we come and we learn that it's all about Jesus. And, and I think that that's, it's such an important message. Uh, and, and to me, the simplicity is what keeps it coming back because it's not, it's not necessarily big flashy sermons, but every week it's, it's just the simple message of, of what that relationship with Jesus Christ looks like. And I hope that simplicity stays there. I, I also, strangely enough, now I kind of hope that the church stays smaller, like not unhealthy, small, but I, I do like the intimacy and the closeness. And I hope that it keeps that where we come in and we, we know the people who are around us. And, and it's almost like seeing neighbors when you're going out to get the mail, where it's, it, it's fun, these relationships are building, and I hope that it doesn't lose that.